Hello and welcome to Video Jug. We're going to take you through all the important do's and don'ts for dancing the waltz. If you haven't done so already, make sure you watch our other films in the waltz series, beginning with those about the basic steps to get you started. The waltz is one of the most elegant and timeless dances existing today, but did you know that it used to carry a title of Forbidden Dance? When it first moved to Viennese dance halls, it was slandered by the church and leaders of the community because, believe it or not, partners were allowed to touch. This, thanks to dirty dancing, does not apply nowadays, but there are a few guidelines which you should follow. Martin, our ballroom and Latin expert, with help from his student India, will take you through these. Step 1. What to wear. Although there isn't a strict dress code for dancing the waltz, as said before, it's a very elegant dance. Therefore, you need to dress suitably. Here, Martin and India are dressed appropriately for the waltz. Men should wear a plain loose shirt, comfortable trousers, and a pair of comfortable, preferably soft-soled shoes. And women, a loose skirt or dress, and reasonably high heeled shoes. You may love your sex is great skin-tight t-shirt and torn jeans, or think that a tiny miniskirt really shows off your legs. However, these may offend others and more importantly can constrict your movement. The waltz is a dance which moves a lot, so you need to feel free in what you wear and not as if you've been sucked into a tube of a vacuum cleaner. Getting your footwear right is vital. Tatty or spanking sparkly new trainers are a big no-no. And for women, be realistic. If you decide to break in your new six inches, you're more likely to end up in A&E than being crowned the new dancing queen. Step 2. Orientation on the dance floor. It's not just by fluke that when professional dancers all waltz together in a relatively small space, it doesn't look like London or New York at rush hour. There are a few simple rules to follow to prevent horrible head-on crashes. Firstly, you must always move anti-clockwise around the floor and never clockwise. Secondly, the floor is divided into three invisible lanes. The outside, or slow lane, is for the beginners, the inside lane for intermediates, and the center of the floor for the advanced dancers only who can more or less move anywhere they want to. Step 3. Facial Expressions When you think of ballroom dance, you may have the image of an orange suntan and cheesy grin stuck in your mind. You can forget about this in the waltz. In fact, it's not traditional to smile at all. This doesn't mean you can sway around the floor looking like you're about to hit someone. Just aim for a more neutral, friendly expression. Step 4. Be respectful on the dance floor. This is pretty simple. If you're nice to others, then others will be nice to you. Use a hand signal to give way to other couples. Otherwise, this can happen which could lead to poking, prodding, elbowing, and even brawling, which would most likely get you thrown off the floor or out of the class and asked to never return. Best to avoid. So there you have the basic do's and don'ts on how to look and be at your best while dancing the waltz. Watch our other films on the Video Jug Waltz series to brush up on your steps, perfect your turns, and improve your technique.